Have you ever imagined the legendary Geronimo driving a Cadillac? But before we delve into that, let's take a step back to his surrender in 1886. This moment marked not just the capitulation of a formidable warrior but the end of an epic. Geronimo the Apache chief was known far and wide for his audacious resistance and indomitable spirit. As the sun set on the era of the Old West, Geronimo handed over his arms to federal forces in a moment that would forever be etched in the annals of history. His surrender was more than just a personal defeat, it symbolized the end of the Apache resistance, an event that marked a profound shift in the American frontier. Yet it's important to remember that this surrender wasn't the result of a lost battle, but rather an acceptance of the inevitable tide of change. Thus, the formidable warrior gave in, not to the battlefield, but to the inevitable wave of change. But this was far from the end of his story. From a free-roaming warrior to a prisoner, Geronimo's life took a drastic turn as he was confined to Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Once a fierce Apache chief, he now found himself a prisoner of war, his life dictated by the ironclad rules of the fort. His days, once filled with the thrill of the chase and the camaraderie of his tribe, were now consumed by the monotony of confinement. Yet Geronimo was not a man easily subdued. He found ways to keep his spirit alive amidst the harsh realities of life at Fort Sill. He was often seen engaging in farming, an occupation that was a far cry from his warrior days but allowed him to maintain a semblance of independence. He also sold photographs of himself, a savvy move that allowed him to connect with the outside world and earn a small income. Despite the chains of captivity, Geronimo managed to leave a mark, even within the confines of Fort Sill. In 1904, Geronimo was given an opportunity to step out of Fort Sill for an extraordinary event, the St. Louis World's Fair. This grand exposition was a showcase of technological innovations and cultural advancements, a true spectacle of human achievement. But amidst this celebration of progress, there was Geronimo, a living symbol of a fading era, an embodiment of the Old West. At the fair, Geronimo was an object of fascination. People lined up to catch a glimpse of this legendary Apache chief, to shake his hand, even to buy his autograph. His presence was a stark contrast to the fair's backdrop of innovation and progress. Yet it was this very juxtaposition that made his appearance so impactful. Geronimo's presence was a reminder of the country's turbulent past, even as it celebrated its promising future. His story, a riveting blend of resistance and survival, echoed amidst the crowd. Geronimo's appearance at the fair was a spectacle in itself, a paradox of a fallen warrior in a celebration of progress. A year later, in 1905, an iconic photograph surfaced, Geronimo seated in a Cadillac. This image, though unexpected, paints a vivid picture of the shifting gears of time and the adaptation of an old warrior to a rapidly changing world. To set the scene, imagine it's the dawn of the 20th century and the world is on the cusp of an industrial revolution. Automobiles are beginning to replace horse-drawn carriages and technology is starting to permeate every aspect of life. And there, amidst this whirlwind of change, sits Geronimo, a symbol of a bygone era, in the driver's seat of a Cadillac, a symbol of the new age. This photograph, while intriguing, is also a bit misleading, it's really a 1904 Model C locomobile. The term Geronimo's Cadillac comes from a 1972 song by Michael Martian Murphy, at the time, Geronimo was a prisoner of war at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. He was allowed to leave the fort for special events, but it's unlikely he drove himself around in a Cadillac. The car, in fact, belonged to a man named Albert Miller Lee, a retired general who had fought against Geronimo's Apache tribe. The photo was taken during a parade in Oklahoma, where Geronimo was invited to participate. The irony of the situation is hard to miss. Here was a man who once roamed free in the wilderness, now confined to a reservation and paraded around in a symbol of the very progress that had cost him his freedom. Yet, there's a certain resilience in Geronimo's eyes, a defiance that seems to say he's not defeated, merely adapting. The Cadillac photo in all its complexity is more than just a snapshot of a man in a car. It's a symbol of a changing world, of the old meeting the new, of the resilience of the human spirit in the face of change. Though Geronimo never owned a car, that image of him in a Cadillac remains a poignant reminder of a time of transition, a warrior's adaptation, and the relentless march of progress. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe for more.